One UI 8 going to change everything on your Samsung phone? Well, maybe not. A new leak just gave us a first look at Samsung's upcoming One UI 8 software update. And while there are a few changes, it doesn't seem like the kind of update that will completely transform how your phone feels. Instead, it looks like Samsung is focused on cleaning things up rather than building something entirely new. Samsung only just started rolling out One UI 7, which is based on Android 15, to many of its recent devices. But now we're already hearing about what's next, One UI 8, which will be based on Android 16. In fact, Samsung's next foldable phones, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 and Galaxy Z Flip 7, are expected to ship with One UI 8 right out of the box. That means Samsung is already testing early versions. One of those test builds just leaked running on the Galaxy Z Fold 6, and it gives us our first real peek at what to expect. And to be honest, it feels more like a One UI 7.1 update than a full version jump. Visually, it looks nearly the same as One UI 7. That might be a letdown for anyone expecting a brand new look. But when you think about it, it kind of makes sense. One UI 7 already introduced a major design refresh, so instead of changing everything again, Samsung seems to be focused on refining what's already there. Still, there are a few small tweaks. Apps like Gallery and File Manager now have slightly cleaner layouts. That makes it a bit easier to find what you're looking for. These are flashy changes, but they help the software feel more polished and organized. The most interesting part of this leak, though, is the return of something called Now Brief. You might have heard of it before, it's a smart info panel that shows helpful updates throughout your day. Up until now, it was only available on the Galaxy S25 series. Even the Galaxy S24 didn't get it with One UI 7. But in this early One UI 8 test build, Now Brief is finally showing up on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. That's a strong hint that Samsung plans to bring it to more phones later this year. And for people who like getting quick updates at a glance, this could be a welcome addition. So what does all of this mean? Basically, One UI 8 isn't trying to reinvent the wheel. It's focused on fixing small things, smoothing out rough edges, and improving what already works. And here's something important. Samsung never released a One UI 7.1 update. That version was likely skipped due to delays. So now, One UI 8 has to do double duty, bringing Android 16 and cleaning things up at the same time. It's still early days, so we'll probably see more features and changes in the coming weeks, but don't expect a major redesign or tons of new features. One UI 8 looks like a quieter update. Focus more on the overall experience than on grabbing headlines. If you were hoping for a game-changing update, this might feel a little underwhelming, but if you care about better stability, improved performance, and small refinements, One UI 8 could still be a solid step forward. We'll be keeping an eye out for future leaks and updates as Samsung continues testing. If you want to stay updated with everything happening in the Samsung world, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest news and leaks. Is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 really going to bring a major camera upgrade, or are we just getting a bigger camera bump for no reason? That's the question a lot of Samsung fans are asking right now. According to a trusted source, the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7 will come with a slightly bigger camera bump than the one on last year's Galaxy Z Fold 6. Naturally, when people hear bigger camera bump, they assume better camera hardware, and in this case, that might be true. Leaks suggest that the main rear camera on the Galaxy Z Fold 7 could be upgraded to a massive 200 megapixel sensor. That's a big jump from the 50 megapixel sensor used on the Fold 6. If this is accurate, it would be one of the biggest improvements in the Fold series so far, especially in terms of photography. However, it's still unclear if the larger camera bump is only because of the upgraded sensor. The difference in size may not even be obvious at a glance. You probably need to compare both phones side by side with measuring tools to really notice it. Now, before anyone gets too excited, there is a bit of a catch. Even though the Fold 7 is expected to have a much better camera than the Fold 6, it's still not expected to beat the Galaxy S25 Ultra. That phone continues to be Samsung's best camera performer. So while the Fold 7 will offer great camera quality, it won't be the absolute best Samsung has to offer. Still, 200 megapixels is nothing to complain about. That's more than enough for most users. Whether you're taking pictures in daylight, low light, or recording videos, you'll likely be very happy with what the Fold 7 can do. Beyond the camera, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is expected to be a beast when it comes to performance. It's rumored to feature the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, which is the same powerful processor found in the Galaxy S25 Ultra. This means the Fold 7 won't just look good, it'll be fast, smooth, and capable of handling everything from gaming to multitasking with ease. Now let's go back to that camera bump for a second. While it might be slightly larger, it's not something most people will care about. At worst, 
the foam might wobble a bit more when placed flat on a table. But honestly, most of us use cases or hold our phones in hand most of the time. A tiny bump isn't going to change much. And if you think this is a big design shift, just wait until you see what Apple is reportedly doing with the iPhone 17 lineup. Did you expect Samsung's next big foldable phone to skip a major update? Because that's what might actually happen. The upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 7 could launch without one UI 7 and instead jump directly to one UI 8. Sounds confusing, right? Especially when a lot of people are still waiting for the current update to even arrive on their phones. Let's make sense of this. One UI 7 is Samsung's version of Android 15 and it was officially released toward the end of 2024. But despite that, a large number of Samsung devices haven't received the update yet. Flagships like the Galaxy S24 Ultra only started getting it after months of waiting. And for others like the Galaxy F53, Z Fold 4, and Galaxy S21, the wait is still on. Samsung has promised updates for these models around April, May, or maybe even June. That's a really long time to wait, especially when other Android brands are already done updating. Now here comes the twist. Leaks suggest that Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 7 might not even bother with One UI 7. Instead, it could go straight to One UI 8, which is based on Android 16. That's right, a phone that hasn't even been released might skip the current version entirely and come with the next one out of the box. If that's true, it's a bold move, and it's going to raise a lot of eyebrows. Think about it. Many users have been stuck waiting nearly a year to get Android 15, while this brand new foldable could show up running Android 16 from day one. That doesn't sit well with everyone. For someone using an older Galaxy model, it might feel like being pushed to the back of the line. Again. But why would Samsung do this? There might be a bigger reason. Google is rumored to launch Android 16 earlier than expected this year, possibly as soon as June. That timing would make it possible for Samsung to launch the Fold 7 in July or August with a new software already installed. From a business point of view, that's actually pretty smart. Launching a high-end phone with the newest Android version sounds like a great way to stay ahead of the competition. Still, not everyone is happy. If you're a Galaxy A series or S series user, this might feel like another reminder that newer, more expensive phones always get the spotlight. And it's not just about feelings, it shows a real problem with update timing. Even the premium Galaxy S24 Ultra had to wait around nine months for Android 15. That's not just slow, that's frustrating for users who paid top dollar for their devices. There's also another side to this. Android 16 is supposed to bring better support for foldable and large screen devices. It will remove some limitations that currently stop apps from working properly on bigger displays. That's important for phones like the Fold 7, which depend on these features to give users a better multitasking experience. Samsung likely wants to make the Fold 7 the leading foldable on the market, and launching it with One UI 8 could help them do just that. Even so, most Samsung users aren't using foldables. Samsung ships hundreds of millions of phones each year, and the majority are standard S and A series phones. These users form the backbone of Samsung's success, and they also deserve fast, reliable updates. If updates are too slow, people start to feel left out, especially when a new device gets to skip ahead. Maybe Samsung is trying to get everything just right before releasing software updates. But sometimes, focusing too much on perfection can delay what really matters to users just getting the update in a reasonable time. So if you're still waiting for One UI 7 on your Galaxy phone, don't worry, you're not alone. And if the Galaxy Z Fold 7 really does come with One UI 8 right from the start, hopefully Samsung doesn't forget about the rest of its users in the process. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates.